Good morning. This is November 21st, 2021. Lesson 12 today. Rejoicing in heaven. We're in Revelation chapter 19 as our lesson and our focus is in Revelation chapter 19 verses 1 through 8. Just the, the key focus and those of us who are, have spent any time in the Bible, spent any significant time, we know the book of Revelation is that's the last book of the Bible. That is the end. It, it talks about the foretold end. It, it, it talks about the heavens in deep in some deep um descriptions. And here we find ourselves today in chapter 19 as the bride has has made herself ready for Christ. Making herself ready. Um when when Christ comes again, Christ is coming for judgment. The bride has made herself ready. Um, symbolic of that, we have got to make ourselves ready for Christ's next coming. Because the next coming is a coming of judgment. The coming of judgment, we have to make ourselves ready and and stop straddling the fence. We have to make ourselves ready by stop being lukewarm. Stop being lukewarm. We have to make ourselves ready by stop trying to impress the world. By stop, we have to stop trying to make our friends happy when we know what they're doing is wrong and we don't want to offend them. We have got to stop that. We have got to stop the things that we are doing that simple enough is going to land us in a pool of fire in hell if we don't straighten up because we know better. These things that we are doing in this world, these things that we are doing here on earth, these things that we are sneaking by and doing and thinking ain't nobody looking, God sees all and we're going to have to give an account for those things that we are doing in this world. There's rejoicing in heaven because Christ is getting seated. Christ is getting ready. There's rejoicing because what's supposed to happen is getting ready to happen in this passage of scripture. So when, when, when that time comes, we better be ready. We need to have ourselves positioned at all time because we know not the time when Christ returns. We know not that time. So since we know not that time, let us constantly be ready. Let us live every day. Let us live every second in the way that we are supposed to be living. Simple enough. Be good. Do what the, do what the good book says. Love one another. See, that's that, that big thing right there, loving one another. You can just love one another and love yourself. Love Christ Jesus. It, it, it that'll simplify a lot of things in life for you. We we got to get ourselves ready. The marriage is happening; it, it's getting ready to happen in this scripture. So we need to get ourselves ready for Christ's return. Stop with stop playing. We've got to stop playing. In this last year and a half, we've lost so many people. Almost, we've lost so many. We lose people daily to senseless things. We lose people daily. God, he, he takes us when he's ready to take. And, 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 and people out here doing stupid and senseless stuff, you don't know when your time is going to come. And heaven forbid you get caught out there doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Get yourselves right, my brothers and sisters. And I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to everything. I'm speaking to myself too, because none of us, nobody is perfect. We all sin and fall short of God's glory, but it's up to us to stay conscious of what we're doing and repent of what we're doing. And when you mature and when you've grown in your relationship with Christ Jesus, you got to stop playing around and say, I can do this because I know God. No, you're going to have to give an account for what you're doing. So don't continue to play around and say, I can get away with this because I know God is going to forgive me. You got to give an account for it, too. So stop playing around. Stop with the, I'm going to do this. Now, when you slip, at some times you're going to slip. You're trying, though. Make sure you're always trying to do good. Be blessed this day, my brothers and sisters, because Christ is coming. 
the return is coming. It's near. We don't know. So let us prepare ourselves and be ready. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.